Hey, hey, welcome back to Red Blue Labs. In the video today, I'd like to show you uh, a really cool tool that I use quite a bit. It's called HPing3, and I'm going to use it in tandem with Wireshark. And so in the in the lab that I'm going to be doing in this video, I'm actually going to be showing uh, validating firewall rules uh, through spoofing packets, and then we're going to be able to see that packet uh, go to a target machine and then coming back to uh, the spoofed machine uh, in Wireshark. So let's go ahead and uh, dig in. I've got two machines in this lab environment. Uh, we're going to ping the first, ping the target machine first. And because I've got a firewall set up on this machine, it is giving me a destination host prohibited. So the ping, is, the ping there is telling me that it's being uh, rejected. Um, that's that's totally fine. Let's do a, a quick port scan, and we're going to look at the ports that are available uh, from my Kali machine. see that there's a there's a web server running on this machine and if we were to access it we would be able to gain access through the browser uh, via port 80 uh, which is which is fine so uh, in this lab on this machine here I actually have configured a firewall and so uh, I know that there also is a port that's available to to my network uh, port 3389 which we also know is the RDP port so that port, let's do an nmap scan on port 3389. Port 3389. And we can, we can determine that it is actually, in fact, uh, filtered. So it's being, it's being uh, caught by the firewall. So my IP address of 1.76 sent a SYN packet over to this port uh, and it came back uh, with a reset so we can do we've, we've, we've learned that there's a this this particular port is being filtered which is good let's use hping3 and and dig a little bit deeper onto this machine I'm going to send a sin packet I'm going to do actually port 80 here, and we'll take a look at what comes back because I know that this port is open, and the response is a sin act that comes back at me. Perfect. We already knew we already knew that we could connect to that, but we are creating a single sin packet to just sort of validate that, uh, validate what we already know. Let's go and take a look at what happens when we we do the exact same thing but to port 3389 and it is unreachable so it's telling us that it it was we already know that it's filtered but it's saying that it was it didn't it sort of hung there it got denied it, it, we didn't get a response back uh, when we fired at at this port here okay so I know because I've, I've configured the firewall and we're doing a demonstration here that port 3389 is actually available but it is only available to a particular machine so let's take a look at what happens if we use hping3 and we spoof a source IP address And I'm going to spoof a, a different machine on my network, so 1.70, and so this dash A is the spoof, and my target is still 1.35. Let's fire off a packet uh, at that machine. Okay, so this the SYN flag was set, uh, and we didn't get anything back, and that's okay. Uh, but 
we it, we need a little bit more information here. Um, did it did it go? Did it work? Did did I successfully get a Synac uh, back to that machine? That's where Wireshark comes in, and Wireshark is going to give us sort of the, the full picture of this this interaction between uh, machines. So let's go ahead and open up Wireshark. I'm going to prep the HPing3 uh, spoofing packet, and then we're gonna I'm gonna run Wireshark, and then we're gonna uh, send off that single packet. And it's it's already in my history, so that's that's great. Let's go to let's head on over to Wireshark. Choose the network that I want to capture on. I'm already getting a ton of packets, 700 right now. Let's fire this packet off, and then go ahead and stop Wireshark. Perfect. Let's open this. Let's open this a little bit bigger. Now, there's a ton of traffic in here, and this is all normal to my network. Uh, but I got 2,000 uh, packets. I sent a single packet from my Kali machine, uh, a spoof packet. Let's modify our filter here, and see if we can find that that packet so i want to know the source the source so uh let's let's take a look at this okay so now let's remember that i'm trying to spoof a 1.70 machine so that means that the, the source packet should be 1.70. So let's go and add that IP address in here. I'll do a, a, a search on that. And it gives me everything where the source is 1.70. It's still not enough though. We're, we're dealing with, uh, I'm, I've still got a thousand packets to filter through. But the destination was a specific destination, so that was 1.35. Let's add that into our filter here. And make sure you do it correctly, destination. Ah, there we go. So there's that there's that single packet that I, I sent out. Uh, I spoofed this, uh, and the destination was 35. And there's the sin. Okay, so we already know that we successfully sent that out. We knew it when we, we launched HPing3. But we didn't see what came back from uh, 70. We didn't see it in our terminal. Let's go and take a look at, let's, let's swap some numbers around and see if there was a response from uh, the 1.70 and actually see what the response was. So coming as a source of 1.35, that was our target machine. Our spoofed machine was 1.70. And we can see that the packet that came back to 1.70 was in fact a SYN ACK. And we know that in the, the three-way handshake, we've got the SYN, the second one for a connection-based uh, connection, based, uh, connection uh, SYN ACK, and then the third part would be ACK. So this tells us that it might not look like much, but what, we're, what we've discovered here is that the, the firewall was allowing or was open to this spoofed IP address. So my target machine here has a firewall rule that's saying I'm okay receiving connections on port 3389 from this specific machine in the network. Very useful, especially if you're doing some lateral movement, uh, some discovery, 
or, or even just validating that your firewall rules are working the way that you you intended. That's that's the key. Hey, if you're enjoying my videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe. I've got I've got some more Wireshark videos that I'm, that are percolating, and I got some more offensive videos that I'd like to start posting. All right, thanks everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.